Hi, I'm Eileen. I'm John. We live here in Staten Island. And these are our dogs, Mixie and Mac. Hurricane Sandy washed out our house by the beach. The other house had a lot of history for us. It was my grandparents' house. It was home. We raised our two boys there. This house that we bought, you can see it's still a work in progress. This has a space on the back that's zoned for a professional office. At the time when I applied, I didn't know the school that I teach in is closing this year. So at the end of the school year, I'll be out of a job. I've always really wanted to have my own business. People for years have said to me, Eileen, you should do sewing lessons, and I never really had the room to do it. The idea of doing it in that back space, like, took over. So having this space to do something is going to be so good for me. It's sort of like it's just been an answer to something I didn't even know. The timing of the whole thing is kind of kismet because by the time we get everything organized and together, that'll be the end of the school year and she'll be able to start right up into the business. Everything happens for a reason. I want to be able to have sewing and art and I have friends that make jewelry. I'd like them to come and share that and have like this sort of community art, you know? details that really fascinate me. The jars and the little tray that makes the jars not split and all the different types of pieces that can fit into that pegboard. I really, really love the drawer over the garbage can. I love that you could put the bags right there and have them there when you take the bag out. I know, all of this and I'm gonna talk about garbage bags. <laughs> this is a pretty space, but it's so much more than pretty, it's super functional. There's a lot of possibilities here, and I think that's the fun part, possibilities. Oh, well, I've always dreamed of having my own kind of business, and here I am on my way. I love teaching, I love working with the kids. It will be a social experience. That's really what I'm hoping for, because nobody wants to just work. You want to have fun, and you want to make that an enjoyable thing. She really is very good at teaching these younger people. She doesn't like to brag, but she's sent some of her students to the top art schools in the country. I want her to have that space where she can feel free to express her artistic side. She does beautiful work. Thank you. If you've got a dream, just keep following it, because you can get to that dream. It can happen.